Hello and welcome Pixels! In this episode I want to show you how to extract a particular pattern from images. I was asked to do this with a case example of a tattoo. There are different cases of extracting information of an image. However, it really depends on the image itself. I will present you two cases and my preference of preparing patterns for textures. The pattern is included to a photograph and an isolated pattern which has for example a very low quality. Pattern in photographs Extracting a pattern of a photograph is not an easy task. It is as well not very ideal to take a photo where your pattern is distorted or wrapped around something, e.g. an arm. The pattern could be perspectively distorted on some areas and the skin is not 100% flat. Even though the cage on this hand is distorted. So you need really find a good photo where your pattern is nicely presented. As well it is good to know how big your pattern should be for your purpose. Is it only a small tattoo for a character? Or is it a huge graffiti on a house wall? But let's start in Photoshop now. The first step is to adjust the canvas borders and focus the pattern itself. I personally like to overpaint all parts of the surrounding which is not needed for the pattern itself. Now I bring the image to grayscale and adjust the levels so that your pattern comes out nicely. At least it should be very easy to create a layer mask and get the needed pattern for your texture or anything else. It is as well possible to just work with the selection itself and fill it with the color. But to get a nice selection is sometimes as well hard, so extracting the pattern itself is a necessary step. The same process is working for my second image. Isolated pattern. Let's head to this image here. Technically it is better than the photograph of a tattoo. You will find many of those stylistic patterns in the internet and for sure those graphics are often templates for a tattoo itself. You will find images with good quality and resolution and others with less. I will give you an example of an image with poor quality. Well, this image has a really low resolution. There are two less pixels to define the shape of the pattern. So we are able to rise the resolution a little bit and interpolate some pixels. Now everything is move up, but it looks blurry as well. Let's rise the contrast for the borders to bring out the shape. I do this with the filter sharpen, sharpen. Now it is as well possible to create your layer mask. Or it is as well possible to just take the selection, create a new layer and fill your selection with a color, as before. But I will show you another step which I do and prefer most. Personal preference, vectorization. Yes, I'm talking about vectors. It is for sure more effort to do this, but personally I think the result is much more efficient. I will work with Adobe Illustrator CC2019 for this step. Place your pixel pattern in Illustrator. Select it and search the function Image Trace or Bilder Nachzeichner in German. Don't select it directly. We wanna work only with black and white information. So I recommend to select the silhouette here. 
it creates the best solution in my opinion. However, not in this case, because I don't fill the background color with a white or bright color. But the preview of the first attempt for vectorization is not always a good one. So you are able to adjust some settings by clicking on this icon here. The threshold setting works with the brightness of the color which define the contrast of the pixels. In our case it brings back our pattern. Open Advanced or Erweitert in German give you more settings for adjustment. With passes or corners you can play around till you are happy with the result. In the end you have to click on Transform here. This generates a vector graphic and you are able to adjust your shape with any color, pattern and gradients. It is as well easy to bring back this pattern and add it to your texture. If you keep it as a smart object, it is no problem to transform it later without losing quality. For sure you can rasterize the pattern as well. Yeah, it depends on your needs. And this is all of extracting patterns of an image. If I forgot something, please let me know in the comments section beneath this video. If you liked this video, feel free to give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and have a nice day. Cheers!